Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and uh, I actually got a lot done last week. Uh, yeah, some of you know why, and we'll get into that later. Um, I got two pigs down here still, because I want to get a bunch of protein farms. Not sure why, other than to build them. Uh, I would like to try to come up with a different design than stuff I've done before. But in the meantime, I need to grab two sheep, two cows, and maybe two goats. Uh, not sure about that one, but uh, I'm kind of mad that we all our goats seem to have disappeared from the mountain area. Uh, I got this. Th this is the same basic uh, micro crop farm deal that we set up over by the skeleton farm. Uh, because I needed, to, I needed to get some villagers squared away. I can't remember if I started it or finished it on stream Tuesday. But we got this villager farm going. Uh, and I may not have done that on stream. I, 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 every, the whole week is just running together like you wouldn't believe. So I've got this villager farm. Or villager farm. Villager breeder. Really simple design. Uh, it was my understanding that as long as these guys don't move but so far from the beds, they'll still remain attached to the beds. And you don't have, and then therefore, when those two go to make more villagers, they, they won't because all the beds will be taken. As you can see, that's, that's not the way this happened. So I'm going to have to rearrange this holding area so that um, uh, cramming <laughs> takes its course. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know a good way to say that. So, yeah, so, you know, entity cramming uh, resolves the problem of too many guys down here because that's, that's a lot, and we don't need that many entities floating around. I've also got a nice little rail system, push the button over the green wool, and it sends a cart up. We'll take a look at that in a minute. And I pop a cart in this dropper here, hit the button, and it drops it down a shaft into the dispenser down there. Uh, I really could have just put a, a line of hoppers up to the top, but I, I don't want to do that many hoppers. That There's no good reason to do that many hoppers. Um, I, I almost want to rearrange it, though, so that way... It'll auto dispense a cart when you drop one down, and that way I can leave the the storage element up here instead of down there. But I don't know. That that that's one of those things to figure out after I get this problem squared away. I also found out that I did not need that gap to be too wide. I only needed it to be one wide. So uh, there that is too. But we'll we'll come back to that in just a second. Um. I was going to do more of the potion stuff before I got to those guys, but uh, given the number that are growing over there, I got to deal with that first. So, I got the, uh, I got, I, I've re redone that part of the ceiling again, again, again. Because um, I think I had the ceiling in Tuesday. I'm pretty sure I had the ceiling in Tuesday. I did put some banners up here. I want to put more of the custom banners and less of the pillager banners, even though we're collecting a bunch of them. I thought I heard a wandering trader for a second there. Uh, one wandering trader was kind enough to donate these two llamas, and given their uh, storage capacity, I, I thought that'd be really nice. A and it, it was just a wonderful thing. Sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I put these stairs up on stream, and I got I got a fountain. <laughs> I I mentioned the last time that I wanted to kind of put a fountain that started here and rolled down there. Uh, I used the end stone because I I thought it would be nice to use something oh. different, but the more I look at that, the more I don't like it. So I'll need to swap that out for something else. I want to keep the same basic design. Um, I might go with the, the warped and copper for the fountain or maybe blackstone. I'm leaning a little bit more towards the blackstone just because that, that'll subtly tie it into, you know, the stairs and the pillars without, um, without outdoing things. My, and the server is being a little extra special for some reason. Uh, so... <laughs> 
we we may have to we we may have to take a little intermission at some point. I hope not though. Um. Yeah, no, I don't think I did have the villagers when I streamed Tuesday. No, I didn't, cause uh, <laughs> okay, to get the villagers over here, I ran eight or so stacks of rails all the way out to the iron farm villager breeder <laughs> and railed them up and through here. I was going to do them just for the ones that I need and not put a villager breeder here, but um, after the pain it was to get, you know, like I got, I got the three, I got the three clerics in here so I could get some redstone and glowstone for, for potion brewing. And, um, that was a pain, but it was okay. And then I got these guys in here because I, a, I wanted to have a little bit of, little bit of, of, uh, people moving about in the case I need to get more tools and armor and stuff and mostly to, to sell iron and stuff. Um, and, and that was still more of a pain, but okay. And, and then I started to get these guys in, in here, my, my three little farmers. And uh, that, that's when I was like, you know what? I'm tired of shuffling these guys. So I put a small villager breeder in there. Well, I thought it was going to be a small villager breeder. You know. Um, and these guys I've already named because I wanted to remember who had which suspicious do. Uh, all of them have poison? I don't know. What, like, seriously, you guys all are trying to poison me? I got night vision and poison out of this guy. I got blindness and poison out of this guy. I got jump and poison out of this guy. I mean, like, I guess he's got the, the moonshine for the blindness or, you know, I don't know. But, yeah. So that's why I got villagers down there. And we're going to do we're going to do a little bit more with them. Uh <laughs> I already had to replace a couple of these guys here because it, it took a little while to find people with the right qualifications, like pumpkin and melon trades. Uh, over there, I do want to get in a small-scale melon pumpkin farm. That way, I can get the golden carrots and glycerin melon for the potions and emeralds for the other ingredients. And that actually takes care a lot of those those needs and I just realized I needed to check do, do the fishermen sell puffer fish no they only buy puffer fish okay I was kind of hoping I, I could get that for the water breathing potions but I don't know maybe I'll go fishing in the fountain or something <laughs> Ooh, or maybe I'll make a, a an underground lake in here somewhere like in uh, uh, wow or the warcraft where, where you, you get the underground lake that you got to do all the fishing stuff in that's an Arcadius topic, but he's uh, he's a little under the weather, so we won't get into that today. All right, that is that is the that is the the very short short version, the five minute tour. Um, let's. Uh, I still haven't figured out what I'm putting in here. I got a pretty good idea, but I gotta I gotta look at the redstone footprint for it, and uh, and we'll see. Oh, yeah. So. <clears throat> Over here, I get to figure out how many of these farms I can cram in. I, like I said, I need the melon pumpkin farms. I would like to move the cactus farm up here. Uh, I would like to get a kelp and a sea pickle farm over here somewhere. And I would like to get these two mushroom farms going, too. They're going to be slow as all get out, but I, I need them for the, the fermented spider eye for potion making. So if I want to take those night vision potions and turn them into invisibility potions, you need a fermented spider eye to do that. And I think you need the fermented spider eye for the potions of weakness too, which if I want to start doing the zombification and better trades for villagers, that, that would be a necessary thing too. Uh, I want to get a glowberry farm, although I have no good reason why. I would like to get a glow lichen farm. Uh, again, no good reason why. I need a place to farm vines, and I'm thinking about a moss farm too. Uh, although the moss farm might not be up here. It might be for one of the projects I hope to accomplish today. We'll, we'll see how that goes. But first things first. I I need to I need to make sure that this is a uh, self-limiting storage setup. 
How's that for a very polite way to word that? <laughs> Alright, let me get some bricks. Some polished basalt. And... And I'll figure that out in a minute. Oh, no! What I need is I'm going to need eight of those guys for the next redstone project, and I don't want to have to wait for them once I uh, <coughs> free up space. So somewhere I put some extra... Nope. I put some extra uh, composters somewhere. If I were me, where would I have put the extra composters? Oh, oh got some new mini blocks too. Uh, I put some of them over in community storage. I kept some for myself. Like, I only kept two of the shulker box minis, but we got the more of those. Uh, same for the grass and the copper and a few others. I, I haven't figured out what I'm going to decorate them with. Oh, there we go. Uh, but I do want to, I want to do something with it. All right, so let's do that. Let's get uh, some powered rail. Let's get some regular rail, and let's get to business. Uh, so I need to I need to get these guys somewhere somewhere just temporary. I need eight of them, so let's do this. Let's put that there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the powered rail, because that'll act as a brake, and it'll make it easier to get these guys moving back out later. So we're going we're gonna to need eight of them. I should have plenty of carts in there. And whoop, there's one. <laughs> Get enough momentum. There we go. Nudge, nudge. How you do? All right. Now for number two. And there we go. Oh, and I'm kind of curious why I, those are the only two I'm getting. Um, so these guys came from the villager breeder over over in uh, uh, by the iron farm, and these are the two types of villagers that have been coming through the, the jungle or plains. I think those are jungle, and, and the and the standard ones who I can't remember what their what their technical biome is now but if you notice they're in a dripstone cave biome and I wonder if that's one of those things that because it doesn't have its own uh, biome specific thing because normally when two vill when two villagers love each other very much um, what type of villager you get depends on uh, some percentage of what one parent is, some percentage of what the other parent is, and a small percentage of which biome they're in. So, so that means that if I had these two guys in an ice peaks, they would they they would uh, have a small percentage to get a child that it has the that's an ice peaks villager. Um, but I'm noticing I am not getting a third option out of any. It's one or the other. So I, I'm, there we go. I am wondering if that is a result of just, uh, because these guys are in a biome that doesn't have its own. So it's just going to be bit depending on one or the other. Two, three, four. How you do? How you do? I need four more. And I wonder if some of the lagginess isn't because of how many how many villagers are down there. So uh, I'll, I'll 
that's gonna that's gonna be taken care of in just a minute. Right. How are you doing? Uh, How are you doing? I got a couple ways that I might do it. I'm just not sure which one I want to take. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Hi, friend. And here comes number seven. And this should be the last one, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, and I needed eight. So yeah, this should be the last one. If if this farm that I'm testing out works the way I hope it does, then I will build a larger scale version somewhere by the castle. Uh, I don't know if it works, and I don't want to go through all the work of building <laughs> building it large scale if uh, if it doesn't if it doesn't work. So in my little my little basement of testing. Uh, <laughs> We're uh, we're about to find out what how well any of that works. And I've been keeping that there as a stop. Um, although I think technically they bounce around, uh, so I'll have to I'll have to rework that exit mechanism too at some point. Uh, where can I put the? Let's take the spares and put them there. All right. Um. All right. I need brick and polished basalt. Brick. Oh, and I gotta, I gotta do something about my own storage. This is, uh, this is ridiculous. All right, uh, oh. I need my ice box and glass. I don't know why I'm making sure to get it there. I, I got a, <laughs> I got one down here too. All right, so we got the ice box, we got the glass. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need of that. I'm going to need at least one I No. Maybe two. Uh, and possibly some packed ice. Maybe. Right. Um, how do I want to do this? How a villager gets hurt.
fix that corner in just a minute. Uh, actually, those trapdoors should be enough. Because the, the, the deal is these two are farming up potatoes, and eventually a kidlet appears, and he tries to make the jump to jump on the beds, and falls in the water. Um... I I had made the I did make the gap too wide, but it appears I only needed to make it one wide? Question mark. And uh and so maybe by narrowing that down I can I can get things a little bit better. I should also probably put another another light in there somewhere. Uh, that that seems a little uh, well, if you think that's dark, wait until you see what happens next. Let's, uh... Hello, Beach Duck. Alright, so those guys come in there. Uh... <laughs> pay, pay no attention to what's about to happen next. So that's going to push all the way out there, and it... Let's do this. How you do? Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. How you do? Oh, that is the other thing that I've noticed. Um, since putting the villagers in here... Uh... I have had a lot of problems with zombies crawling up through the the caves up under here. Even though, so even though those caves are properly lit, uh, the the zombies still keep uh, still keep showing up. And I I wish I knew I wish I knew why and what to do. Close that up in case any more come through. That also means that I, I don't need quite as many beds. So we'll just go... One, two, three, four. That should be enough to, to keep that going. Question mark. And I actually need to go... Take that out there. Put that there. How you doing? And then I think if I move this up How you doing? one more, that should reach all the way to the end, which will take them here. And I should just need to do that right there. That gets them into a one by one holding area. And that should stop the overpopulation issues. Um, I think I need to pull this. No, no, because they're, they're two blocks tall, so that should be tall enough to go. Yeah. Alright. How are you doing? And that's still two blocks up, so that should be good. Oh, no! Oh, come on! There we go. <laughs> let's uh, let's see how that goes then. Oh. 
It does take a little while for these guys to uh, to get going, but that should be that should be good. I probably need to put one more light in there somewhere, just because that 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 seems kind of dark. No, this whole thing seems kind of dark, but. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and grab another shroom light. And I'll drop that down this way here. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? All right, let's, uh, let's see how this does. Oh, did I forget to fill? No, there's a glass block there. Okay. That just looks really weird the way that the way that's set up. Because there's one there. There's one there. And there should be one there. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll figure it out in a, in a little bit. I'm sure I'll be figuring it out, trying to figure it out once uh, a, a bunch of baby villagers come jumping around. A couple of them escaped the last time, too. And <laughs> it, it was, uh, yeah. It was an adventure. Or a misadventure. All right. Uh, let's clear up some of this inventory space, and then we can get to, on to the next thing. Some torches. Now, what am I going to do with these extra beds? I don't know. I'll find a spot. I might end up putting some more couches around. Should, should I put like a, a small, <laughs> a small, a small couch like uh, right there? No, that's that's too crowded. It's not as spacious as the other side. Oh wait, I got that packed ice in my uh, inventory. All right, let's. Oh, that's right, Beach Duck. You weren't here for the initial recap. Let me. Uh... Nope. I put that away. Let me put that away. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to find a better, better block for the fountain beach duck, but, uh, there you go. It's the smallest duck I could figure out how to make. <laughs> I, I almost feel like I should waterlog that slab so it looks like the, the fountain's coming out of the, uh, out of the duck, but that, that seemed like it might be a bit too much. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little blocky, but it's the smallest one I could figure out how to make. <laughs> I, I mean, if we, if we had concrete stairs, that I might be able to do a little bit better with that, but uh, we don't. So, <laughs> but yeah, I gotta, I gotta find a better, I gotta find a better. I don't. I thought the end stone would be a nice change of color, but uh. The more I stare at this, the more I do not like the yellow brick. Um, so, are you thinking maybe if I went with the stone, the gray, that'd be a little too much gray? Because I'm leaning towards the black stone, but not the raw black stone like this, either polished or the brick. When asked an either or, yes does not exactly help. <laughs> I mean, I could also do more deep slate too, which is this lighter, you know, in between gray. But uh, so yes, blackstone or or yes, the brick. 
How you do? How you do? Hello, hello. How you do? And should I do it with the? Oh, the lighter. Hello. Do it. Do it with the with the gray. Okay, I was not expecting that. I I thought. I thought the blackstone would end up being a little bit better. Okay, so uh, yeah, let me let me grab a couple of our options. So we've got the blackstone brick stairs, the or blackstone brick, which I can make into slab stairs and walls, which is what that's made out of. The polished blackstone, which is that texture there. Uh, let me go grab my deep slate box and oh, and the brick. So there's the regular stone brick, and then we've got some of the some of the deep slate. Like we got polished deep slate, which I'm using for the the trim there. Uh, we got deep slate brick, like I'm using for the stairs there, and we've got tiled deep slate which I'm using for the wainscoting. And we've also got um, the raw cobbled deep slate. So that's kind of what we got for options. And that, that seems to be the, the gradient from the, the stone brick to some of the deep slate options to blackstone. I mean, I've got, there There are more blocks too. Like I could do the cut copper, like we got up on the wall there. Uh, just there's no, there's no walls like this. So I'd have to figure something else out for the, for it to get the water to split like that. Um, I keep looking for the coffee I forgot to make. That's, I probably had enough coffee today anyway. Oh, I might go make some tea just to have something, something here. Let me see what else I have handy too. I mean, we could go absolutely ham with uh, the, the, the purple, but I, no. <laughs> That I can't, I can't, I can't even bring myself to jokingly do that. That's that's not gonna happen. Um, no, there is sandstone and smooth sandstone. Th those are some options. That that's getting uh, less yellow and a little more. We we do the smooth sandstone and the sandstone. There's no terracotta or concrete slabs and stairs. Uh, there's the various lumbers too, like the oak and the spruce and onward and forward. All right, so, I mean, we've got oak. Um, Oak and spruce and dark oak and jungle and birch and acacia. So those are the six different woods. Oh. And we've got the crimson. and the warped. So we could always do it out of wood and I could use a fence instead of the wall. Okay. 
you do? Uh, those don't have... No, there's no basalt slabs and stairs. Uh, I, mean, I guess there is another brick and red another brick. But this one? Or this one? Because the this is the jungle wood. That's the that's the oak. We've also got two variations in other brick. That one? That's a uh, jungle. Cause we could we could do it out of jungle. I think I got enough of that left. That's the that's that's the same one that I used for uh, that's what I used up here in the library. Oh, which I actually put a roof on finally. So the this this is the jungle and uh, the regular copper. Ooh, I could I could work in some copper and jungle into that. Like maybe some copper slabs with uh, jungle trim or jungle with copper trim. Alright, there's some ideas. So you think of doing this out of the uh, jungle? Yeah, the, the duck is fun. Yeah. Uh, so should I do the jungle on the outside or the jungle on the inside? Because I can also make uh, wax cut copper stairs. Because I could also do it... Um, Like that around the outside, and then do the jungle jungle slabs on the inside, or uh, let's grab some waxed cut copper and make some slabs. I think I got some more jungle. Uh, yeah, I got more jungle stairs. So it would be the wood around the edge with the copper in the middle. Or I could do copper around the edge with the wood in the middle. Or just randomize it and put random bits of copper and copper and wood. Or I could just do the whole thing in lumber. Mix it up. Uh, okay, so do a solid wall with a solid floor or just random is as random does yeah i do i do like the copper that is, that is uh and i could i could let that age a little bit in a couple of spots too um like if i do that and de-wax it uh, over time, that'll start turning into a little bit of green, and I can cut it back so it's not, you know, green, green like that green, but green with just a little bit of a little bit of um, a little bit of trouble to it. <laughs> yeah, like that. And then all I gotta do is grab some honeycomb. 
wax it again and it stays like that for the whole time. So I could actually mix it up like that too. But again, uh, random, random, or one around the edge with the other in the center is, is the, the current question. Uh, Lady Grey, please. Thank you. Oh, let me grab some uh, jungle planks, too. Let's mm. or do I want to start doing like a, a circular like uh, we'll get the logs in here. Trying to figure out which way to go to get 
the direction stairs you want is never, never fun. Those guys go for a minute. I've got the honeycomb to wax them up. And then I just gotta figure out the uh that. Because unfortunately there is no there is no wall out of either one of these. There there's fence though. So I could take the jungle and some... I need more sticks. I guess I need to go farm some more uh, jungle wood too. Trying to be as clean as you go, cook, so to speak. Uh, get rid of that. Put the end stone away and that away. All right. Now it's just a matter of letting some of that copper age. and stairs and stairs and I need more slabs. Okay. 
then maybe we'll do the same here and we'll go all those up for lumber So, like so. And I guess that one is also going to be like that. And like that. There we go. I'm surprised some of the copper hasn't aged, but okay. Oh, and I still got those guys up there since those are on top of lumber. Thank you. So let's go ahead and get ready to move these guys into brick. Be all messed up. <laughs> all right. There we go. Wait a second. Ow. Fine. No, that's fine. That's fine. While I'm at it, this can go there. Missing any blocks. I'm pretty sure I unwaxed uh, a bunch of that copper. All right. All right. That, that 
should be good. Although I almost want to pull this out here and put two more fence. Nah, nah, that'll be fine. All right, let's uh, get that guy there, that guy there, that guy there, that guy, and definitely that guy. It's not like I can't de-age them by hitting them up with uh, with the X. All right, let's clean up. See how the villagers are doing. Right. Crimson. Birch. Spruce. How are you doing? How are you doing? Oak. Dark oak. Acacia. I guess I could have just uh, cut up some of that waxed exposed copper and then I wouldn't have to worry about waiting for it to age. Which is why I left it in there and totally forgot about it. I almost want to raise these up to give it a little more a little more structure or to keep it down and open. I don't know. That's better. And, uh, and the duck. <laughs> All right, that, that's better than it was. It, and we'll, uh, well, yeah, we'll, we'll circle back around to that a little bit later. All right, uh, inventory is clear. Let me get, well, almost clear. Let me get the, the, the honeycomb back. Let's check in on our village people. All right, so they're at least falling in the hole the way that they should. Uh, I'll pull up another one in a little bit. The big question is whether or not it's... Uh, ...going to keep them at the appropriate population level. <laughs> All right, these guys. Oh, poor Bob here. He took that station. He took that station. And, yeah. Worthless. That's all right. We'll, we'll get him to work in a minute. Uh, what I'm going to try to do next is from a half-remembered glimpse of something Doc M showed on a video. So uh, bear that in mind <laughs> as we go. The, the, this is this is very much the. Uh, I think I kind of sort of remember how it goes. Question mark. Uh, but if I can get it to work, I will definitely do a larger scale version of it at some point in the near future. Uh, what do I need? I need. I need my backpack. I need my redstone boxes. I need my lighting boxes. I... Do I not have just like a regular empty bucket somewhere? I swear, every time I go looking for a bucket, it's already full of something. And I thought I kept an empty bucket around just... There we go. All right. 
I mean, it's not like we don't have enough iron that I can just make another bucket when I need it, but it, it's the principle of the matter where I hate rummaging around looking for stuff that I already have. Um, I don't know if I want to tear this down or not, because uh, on the one hand, I, I don't, uh, I, I shouldn't need it. <laughs> If I get this project running, yeah, let, let, let's uh, let's get all this squared away. Inventory. All right, I'll start moving this stuff over here. Potatoes. Carrots. than that. Did, did I lose them already? Did they go to did they go to something else? I bet they went to something else. Uh Alright, let me grab the bone meal out of here. Maybe I shouldn't have moved them in the middle like that. I have one more bit of bone meal, and then I can finish tearing this down. more of these guys going feed the feed bone meal into this project all right let's tear this down some dirt here in a minute too. All right. I'll go grab that as soon as I get done turning this down. components. Let's put those away for the moment. I'm going to need to put lighting. I'm going to need dirt. I need this out of the way for the moment. These guys are each going to need a composter, but they'll have that. Let me go grab some dirt. And maybe sleep. I'm too lazy to run all the way to the bedroom. And I found out the hard way that the 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 whole point of putting the bedroom here was so that we'd be far enough away from mobs that I could sleep. But the edge of the mountain up around there is close enough that I might not be able to sleep there all the time. <laughs> uh, that's a little too close to real life. <laughs> Alright, dirt. And I don't think I'll use copper for the building block just because that that seems 
moderately ridiculous. I am going to need some full blocks, though, for some of the redstone to work. Let's grab, that's more dirt than I need, but we'll grab that. I need some stone to fill in some gaps. And I just, I just need a, a solid block that doesn't blend in with the background, so that way I don't accidentally break something. And I don't want to... Calcite's too hard to come by. Teft is too natural. Uh, I guess we can go with the basalt. Because I don't really want to... I don't... The rest of those are a little too hard to come by. So, yeah, I guess we're going with basalt. Because um, that's not hard to come by anymore. And I got the basalt generator down there if I need more, so... That should be good. Because at least the basalt is not something that occurs naturally around here. Alright, let's... Um, build this in, I think. And let's start getting some alleyways for this. It's going to be three blocks wide per farm. There's going to be four farm. Oh! Oh! Doggone it. Okay. There's, uh... Huh. Oops. Let's put those there and go, uh, go fix this carpet real quick. <laughs> maybe, maybe I need to, uh, maybe I need to bring this down a block or two? <laughs> Probably two blocks. Um... Ah, get over there. No, no, no. Go, go on. Get... No! No! You're not allowed to leave. No! No! Go! Get... Get back to your station. TK421, why aren't you at your station? At least it was this one, and not the one I feared it was, which, which is going to be these guys over here. Because I've got the redstone back there for the block swapper, and I thought that being a magma block would be enough to keep these guys from pathfinding over there. And I think one of them accidentally uh, did some pathfinding over to where the pressure plate was, which swapped that out for soul sand, which is no longer a block that prevents them from pathfinding. So they walked over there, they went into the bubble vader up, and since they did not exit the bubble evader, they got pulled back down and drowned on the, uh, on the, or burned to death on the, uh, magma block. So I've gone through and double carpeted over here too, so that way the AI shouldn't pathfind. That, that's part of what this adventure has been in, and trying to figure out ways to corral villagers to give them a room that they can be in. And move around without them running all over the castle. So there's two things that I was able to confirm. Uh, one of which is that because that carpet is just tall enough, a villager is too tall to walk through here. His forehead bumps up. See, his forehead bumps up against that bottom pixel of the over the overhang. So all you really need to do is make sure that the doorway is no more than too high and has a carpet in it, and we can pass through just fine because we are just a smidge shorter than a villager. But these guys are just that one pixel too tall to make it through. Uh, and I did the double carpeting because as far as the villager AI is concerned, that is an air block and they can't walk on air blocks. So they should pathfind up to it and stop, which should, in theory help the AI, keep the AI from going crazy trying to uh, trying to walk through a spot that I don't want them to walk through and that they can't fit through. So all these pathways are double carpeted. It's part of why these guys are only one block one block wide and two blocks tall to, to keep the to keep the village people in the room that they need to be working in. So that way these di guys don't wander over there and, and you know, I got to chase them down and they don't refresh their trades and that kind of stuff. At least in theory. Alright, 
Uh, so we're gonna go <laughs> like that because the these need to be uh two three four high either three or four high I cannot remember which for my own sanity we'll go ahead and we'll we'll assume four high that way I'm either right or pleasantly surprised. I know they definitely need to be at a minimum three wide. I just cannot remember if it's three high or four high. So that'll be the tunnel for one farm. We got three wide. One, two, three, four high. That'll be the second farm. So that'll be three and one more. I was about to go. What did I just break into? I was like, oh, yeah, that thing loops around the corner. <laughs> I, I've had enough of these shenanigans. <laughs> Okay, uh, I want to say each unit's going to be three that way, so... Hello, wizard! Uh, sorry. Appreciate that. No, thank you, though. Let's get some light in here. Uh, I, I don't do well with cold, cold calls. Alright, let's get a little more space here. I, mean, I guess technically for the solid block I could have used brick too. I didn't have to use basalt. That might even be better. That way I can actually use up some of the stone that I'm digging up. Alright, so let's get... Let's put the basalt away. Uh, now I'm trying to remember how this goes. I'm gonna need a... I'm gonna need a bunch of double chests. I'm gonna have to make some more. Alright, so we'll do the double chest here. Get. We need a lot of hoppers. Uh, that's gonna go there. And I think this is where the village person is gonna be, because I. Uh, again, th this is half remembered from uh, <laughs> from watching something that Doc kind of, sort of, barely showed. Observers. I need to make a lot more observers. Um, dispensers. Let's, uh, let's make up a stack of brick here for a second. Alright, because what I need to do is there's going to be a bit of dirt there that's going to be farmland. And I'm going to need 
some brick stairs. I have no idea how many, but it's not like I gotta worry about running out of stone. Because uh, that's where the water's going to be. And I need one of these guys looking up. One of these guys looking that way. One of these guys looking that way. This way. And a dispenser. Let me go grab those extra, extra, uh, composters. Downstairs there. And a light. And clear myself a little working space. there to keep the water from going through. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and get the water. I, I'll explain what I think is going on as soon as, as soon as I get this together. I mean, technically I could also use, he, he demoed it with glass blocks and, oh yeah, I, I need to, uh, huh. all right, let's uh, get rid of that for the moment. All right. Um, so the villager is going to stand here, and when he plants the crop, matter of fact, let's uh, let, let let me uh, let me test this out real quick. Where is some potatoes? the sudden urge for potatoes. So the idea is, and then it's harvestable. So he goes to harvest it, and then he plants another one, two, three, and then he goes to harvest it. And so he should keep growing. His inventory is eventually going to fill up and all the extra potatoes get caught under here. So I need to get a villager in here and probably, I mean, he shouldn't be able to jump up there, but just the same, I'll, uh, I'll get three glass blocks to go there and, uh, and then build a second unit back there. And if this works... Matter of fact, I think technically all I really need is that hopper there. Because that's the one that's going to have the dirt. And matter of fact, I think on the other side of that stair, it should technically be hydrated. Um, I just got to make sure that that composter stays there. And I get... One observer watching the hopper. One observer going back. 
a dispenser facing this way. How you doing? Uh, a solid block right there. And a guy going up like that. So that'll keep both of those watered. Now I just need to get the first villager back there, the second one over here, and uh, and then we'll see. The, this should... I'll put a light there. Let me go get uh, let me go get some glass blocks just so I get visibility into here. That's the other thing. I need room for uh, to fill up these dispensers too, because these guys should go. Uh, there'll be a slow mode <laughs> where where they they go through the regular crop growth process, and then if you want to speed it up, you just toss some toss some bone meal in there, and they'll they'll get through it uh, far more rapidly. Uh, if you're really trying to be op about it, you can even get um, like a moss farm running in the background and then a series of composters composting the moss into bone meal filling these guys and just getting tons of tons of crops super quick i'm also going to find out how mad i'm going to be that one of these guys has potatoes from that farm over there and starts changing over from whatever i wanted him to do to that Let's just say I'm not I'm not feeling too uh, too good about that option either. Um, all right. So how? What's the easiest way to get them over over here? Can I rail them all the way over here? Let's try to rail them all the way over here, and then we'll see we'll see how things go. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll see how badly this goes. <laughs> Grab a couple more of those. Let me uh, steal my button here. That's the whole reason why I have that button there, is so that way I can do stuff like this. Uh, let's get. <laughs> I'm gonna need more than nine rail. What was I thinking? Uh, I... No. I. I always end up deeply, deeply misjudging how much rail I'm going to need. All right, so let's take let's take Mr. Back of the Bus over here, and we'll go this way, this way. Hi, hi. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? That's right. You can't put rail on top of that. But we should be able to go like that. And up, up. There we go. Uh, all right. We'll we'll see how far that gets me. <laughs> all right, number one. Oh, that's right. You need a uh, you need a solid block right there. Don't uh, ruin this guy. Hey! Oi! Where'd you go? Are you 
kidding me? How? <sighs> no, Sway. No, no, no. You're not taking one of those. Come on, man. Why are you doing this to me? Villagers. <sighs> nice. Well, the I don't I don't know no there is a deep slate emerald I, I keep saying I don't know that there's a deep slate emerald but I yeah there is a deep slate emerald um, hmm. uh. all right where'd you go man why 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 are you uh Get in the boat. Alright. Let's do this then. No, no, no. Stay on the rail. Oh yeah. I, I'll, I'll get to that in just a second. I gotta, I gotta get, make sure that uh, Mr. Villager here gets into his, uh, his new space. That's it. No, 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 no. Come on. Isn't there... Oh, that's right. It's after four, and you do you do banker's hours. And for some reason, your pathfinding doesn't like rails? Look at that. There we go. Beautiful path. No, 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 no. Did, did, you, did you not see the beautiful path? Oh, come on, man. Oh, seriously. Ah. Uh, <sighs> No, not that one. <laughs> oh. Get, get in the boat. Get in the boat. Now I'm sounding like I asked. Oh, where did you... No, 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 no. You did not. Get in the boat. Get in the... Look, they're producing more of you. I, I can totally do this a different way. Are you kidding me? How? Why? I... I... I don't... You wandered all the way up here just to find that one stupid barrel? Ugh. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for some of the copper to age. Uh... It happens randomly, so we got a, a little bit of a patterned copper and jungle wood, and I put the fence posts in there to kind of help it round out a little bit better. And the same basic, same basic deal up here. I, I almost want to put two more fences on either side so it doesn't look like the duck is perched on a single fence post, but on the other hand, that somehow seems about right anyway. <laughs> All right, I, I got a misbehaving villager to deal with, cause this guy, this th th this guy is why I might uh, I might be short one more villager. <clears throat> Although I'll do that down here where there's nobody I got to worry about trading with. Oh, and you're gonna you're gonna want those barrels too, aren't you? All right, fine, fine, fine. We'll 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 we'll, we'll make this happen. We'll make this happen. I'll figure out how to fix your little red wagon. We're gonna go right in here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to build a nice little wall. 
you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? And if you escape again, I'm going to push you into the cactus farm. Oh, okay, so you want this station now. Good, good. Go on, go, go, go. Dude, you literally have the one path. Go, <laughs> go do your job. Go on. How are you doing? Mm -mm. Hey, hey, no, no, get or get to your station. Villagers. You're going to make me start making village people jokes. Nobody wants that. Get, get in your, get in your hovel. Get to the gulag. <laughs> Get in there, you jerk. Go work at your station. Come on. Up. Up. <laughs> Up. Come on. Get in there. And that was when I had one less villager. <laughs> Get up there, man. There we go. Yay. You can do it. See? There you go. There you go. <laughs> oh, yes. We're serious. We'll see how long it takes for that to go. <laughs> All right, we'll get that one there. Some glass. Uh, we'll get more there, more there. All right, so I just got to be extra, extra, extra about uh, about what workstations they can see. All right, that's fine. We we can we can play that game. All right, let me get the minecart back in there. Those guys have been busy. All right, and I need powered rail, regular rail. And a button. Um, we're gonna go powered. And I'm gonna pop him in the corner there. And oh, that's right. You need a solid block behind you for that. you in here like a so. Careful to hit just the minecart. Oh yeah, there he, no, no, come on, come on, man. You, you were just in there. Look, look, a job. No, get in there. <laughs> come on, man. Oh, did, come on, it's right there. Do you want to be unemployed in Greenland? Sorry. <laughs> With all due apologies to the Princess Bride fans. <laughs> all 
Yeah, there you go. And we'll do that. And get you started on that path. I mean, look at that. We... <laughs> I, I'm, mm. I'm probably gonna have to work on uh on, on some overflow and more storage for that. <laughs> Although we'll, we'll we'll see how far that goes with a uh, uh, full rack of uh, a full rack of bone meal in there because that that's gonna go through bone meal quick. That, that's gonna go through three bone meal for each crop. So I might not worry about keeping those things topped off with bone meal each time. Um, I do need to get some more item frames though. Do I really need access to back here? I don't think I need access to back here. Uh, I might need access to back here. Let's go ahead and leave that open just in case. Alright, so in the middle of this one, we got the one, two. How you doing? How you doing? Hello? Hello? My, where's my portable workstation? Because I'm going to need some item frames. And I think I got more, uh, yeah, I got more chests in there too. Good. here. <laughs> okay. Fine. Well, well, we got anvils to spare. Potatoes. Actually. That way I don't have to worry about having trouble hitting that. Uh, it's not the sort of thing I need to be spending resources on, but... Let's try to make it look pretty. There we go. And I'll clear this out between the two once I get, uh, once I get everything squared away. Alright, so... Just like this one, I need... A Double chest in the middle. Actually, do I have that out to the right spot? Yeah. Okay. So I need my double chest. I need hoppers, hoppers, hoppers. I'm gonna need dirt and dirt. I need a stair. I need a solid block, a solid block, some, oh, mm, I'm going to need more observers, I'm going to need a lot more observers. How am I this low on observers? Alright, uh, detour. Crystals, cobble, redstone. How you doing? Hello? How you doing? Hello? Yeah, that's right. I forgot it takes twice as much redstone. And oh, I need more cobble for that too. 
Oh, Cobble's not usually the thing I, I, I actually oh, anticipate you. being being short on, but yeah. mm. I, I actually think I might need to get some more because uh, I don't. I don't. I usually use my silk touch pick, so I don't end up with as much cobble as uh, as you would expect. Okay. I don't think I'll need that again, but let's just put that there. Oh yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. Yep. 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 All right. All right. All right. This guy is looking up. This guy is looking across. This guy is looking up. This guy is looking across. This guy is looking at... Nope. This guy is looking there. And looking there. And then dispensers. Oh, wrong direction. So what's happening is, when the crop is planted or the crop grows, this observer detects that change. So plant, it detects it's changed and fires. This guy detects that this guy has had a change in state and fires, powering this block, which locks this hopper, causing this guy to detect a state change in the hopper. This guy detects that this guy changed, firing up, which uh, fires off a, a pulse for the, the dispenser to dispense some bone meal, which causes the crop to grow, which causes him to observe it, and so it cycles through after the crop is planted until it grows. And then once it has grown, it then, uh, then it, will, it will fire again when, uh, when the villager uh, harvests. And let me go ahead and get, uh, fill up those dispensers while I'm thinking about it and still have easy access to them. I'm going to have to clear those guys off at some point in the near future, too. And I need more bone meal than what I got down here. Um, <laughs> my inventory is too full. Uh, what do I not need at the moment? What can I get rid of? Here. I'll drop that in there. So that guy's loaded and ready. That guy's loaded and ready. Matter of fact, uh, that's the potatoes. Let's drop that there, and I'll keep that box for over overflow. Yeah. Matter of fact, we'll we'll go ahead and uh There we go. Three spots for those guys. Is the other guy still working? Okay, yep. He's still working. I, I am slightly worried that one of these guys is not going to pick up enough uh, enough material. All 
So, I'll have to come in and check. Oh, no, there he goes. He definitely goes. Okay. Where is... All right, let's grab... All the junk in my pockets. Get the bucket of water. And get this filled in. Now, the nice thing about this, though, is you can tile these as far as you want to run a hopper chain. So, yeah, I've got two guys in serial right now, but you can keep running this all the way down. And it doesn't have to be a line of the same kind of guy either. So, we could actually do four stations in a row feeding into an input and, and getting everything that way, too. So, that that is something to kind of keep in mind. Um Let's, uh, let's do this then. That I want there. That we'll put there. Get this ready for Bill and Ted's Grand Adventure. Should get stuck on that. I'll have some gr glass ready to drop. Oh wait, no, I want um, the glowstone there. Alright, so we're gonna get power. Just because I keep forgetting. We'll go ahead and just, uh, you know, set myself up for success on that one. And I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, uh, I need some carrots. And, all right, yeah. Let's get our hitboxes on so we don't, you know, hit the villager. There you go. Go on. Take your new job. Come on, get in the... Mm. You're gonna make me stabby. You won't like me when I'm stabby. Look at that. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. No, just a little bit further. There we go. Beautiful. for the next contestant. Now it's the next few guys that I'm not sure if I if I got to worry about them picking up uh, picking up the wheat and whatnot. Um, so we'll see how that part goes. 
these guys, the the for the carrots and the potatoes, the seed is the the seed and the crop are the same. So, oh look at that! There's a nice job right there and everything, and it's not quitting time yet. You got a half hour left. Come on, chop chop. Off to the new job. Oh, look at that workstation. All right over there. Come on. Come on. Oh, you know you want to go to work. You, you just feel it in your bones. It's like you're made to work. There we, there we go. There. Oh, why are you walking away? You found the job. You found your dream job. It's right there. You get to do nothing but plant. You're safe. No, no zombies to come in here and scare you, and I just, it, it'll be beautiful. It'll be absolutely, come on. There you go. No, 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 no. Up, 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 up the stairs. Up the stairs. No, you can't go that way. Because you walked into the corner, you idiot. Up the stairs. There we, oh, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're shooing. You're glorious. Just as smart as I could hope for. Y'all just gonna sit there with those crops? Of course you are. Cabots. Is it because it's quitting time? You, you guys are just going to sit there with that crop by your feet? Because you think it's quitting time? Look at this. Do, do you not see this glorious lighting? This glorious lighting means there is no quitting time. That probably didn't sound as hopeful as it should have. Oh, I guess I had a fair amount of carrots in there. I didn't pick up the barrel, did I? <laughs> this is going to be painful, isn't it? I, I almost wish that there was a way to get these guys to work 24-7, but I know that sounds horrible. That, that sounds a, a lot more horrible than I intended it. Put that guy there for now. That's plus what I had in there. These guys, these guys are steadily churning away. They got plenty of bone meal left. It's a nice passive way to get crops. Um, again, the bone meal speeds it up, but this will run just as fine without the bone meal. Eventually, I'm going to want to come back and dig just a little bit deeper so that way it passes around a corner and into a composter so that way once the double chest overflows it'll go into compost which will go into bone meal um, and I'll figure that out when I uh, when I get there because <laughs> that, that, that is not my current concern at all all right I definitely want to make sure that I get uh, some of that stuff squared away But again, the, this is def this is telling me that if 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 the group wants a nice big crop farm of productiveness, uh, we can definitely get that to happen. Because all we got to do is chain these guy, chain a bunch of these guys together, and this is relatively light on hoppers, which also helps a lot. Oh, you do. 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 O
And I'm going to need a lot more stone bricks. So we're going to need brick, brick. Composter. Going to need more lights in a second. Let's grab some more glowstone. I don't, I, that's probably not going to be enough, but uh, just to double check. Yeah. So I'm going to need a double chest. And a double chest, and that'll be it for the double chest, so I can get that out of my inventory and... Uh, that way that's squared away. That's one less item chilling in my inventory. Oh, I can get rid of some of these minecarts too. Ah, it's taking up a fair amount of fair amount of space. Alright. We're, 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 we're steadily uh steadily getting the reserves back. How you do how you do. How you do. Hi. Hello. How you do how you do. All right, that's uh, clearing things up a little bit. Yeah, the zombies, man. I did not have this problem until I moved villagers in here. What what it is is right down here. Wait. Um. Oh. Never mind. I was like, what? <laughs> what? What is that happening right there? Oh no, that that's those guys. Um. Down below here, even though even though some of these caves are lit up, zombies keep pathfinding to where the villagers are. I have no idea where they're at, but they keep pathfinding up here. I don't. There might be a couple of there might be a couple of ways in and out that I, that that I'm missing some holes in the side of the mountain that I'll have to go looking for. But I never had a problem with them coming up underneath here until I got the villagers. And they just seem to unerringly find their way to the villagers. Uh, I don't I don't get it. Alright, I don't need that handy. So let's go ahead and put that away. Watch, as soon as I do this, one of these yahoos is going to figure out a way to escape. Somehow... They're the smartest idiots I've ever seen. Alright, uh... Oh, no, okay. Now we're starting to get some other stuff, uh... Weathering. Good. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll come back and wax the stuff that needs to be waxed. Uh, you know, I'm right here. Let's do that right now before I forget. Uh... So, that's... Oh, that's already waxed, and we'll do that and that. And I thought I had set a couple down there to start oxidizing. Um, okay, we'll get that guy, and that guy, and that guy. There we go. And I think that was actually it for the guys that I set to uh, to start oxidizing over here. Everything else should be... Oh, nope. That was supposed to start oxidizing too. Alright. That's progress though. And that gives it a little more, a little more color variation. Uh, I'm half tempted to just go the slightly oxidized copper all the way around, but I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to think about that one. All right, back to the village people, back to the farm, back to the redstone. Um, so we got the village breeder fixed. These guys, uh, once more than 32 get in there, they'll start taking entity cramming damage and that'll keep that from overpopulating. Which was a problem. The limit in beds was supposed to make that happen, but I don't know. I, maybe I'm working off of old information. Maybe it doesn't work that way anymore. Or maybe uh, because pathfinding's better now because they can't path to the bed, it still connects them. Because it used to be that whether they could path to it or not, they still technically retained possession of that bed. 
as long as they were th- they were th- within uh, so many blocks of it. But I don't know. I guess that changed. Because <laughs> of course it did. Right, you know, let's uh, let's start going through some of the stuff that I can start clearing inventory out of. Maybe get some of these uh, lamps all where they need to be. I'm pretty sure I had that one up there for a reason. Uh, oh. <laughs> there they are. I can definitely go one, two, three, and one, two, three, and I don't need the hoppers in my inventory anymore, so I'll free up a little space there. Uh, we can get the dirt and dirt and those dirt, and I don't need the dirt in my inventory anymore. I don't have a box for that, though. Might have to do that. Look, it's a baby villager. And what he should do is try to run over to the beds to go jump on the beds, because that's what baby villagers do. Um, don't don't throw him potatoes. Go on. Go on. Run for the bed. Run for the bed. You know you want to. There we go. Boop. And then he goes and he waits there. I know that that seems so weird to to run villagers like this. I I, I, I shudder to even think of what it looks like from the outside. <laughs> like if you if you don't understand the way the game works uh, and what yeah, I'm sure there's all sorts of wrong with that. All right. Um, I'm gonna need a stair there, a stair there. Let's go ahead and get some stairs around here. For no good reason. Except I need more. We are on the home stretch. It's probably more than I need, but it's not like I won't find a use for them later anyway. Alright, uh. And there, like that. It's gonna go upside down, upside down, and actually, I think. No, I'm gonna need two more stairs for uh, for hanging onto them. So two is gonna take up as much space as any other. Um, I do not need that cobble, but I, I no, I got a. Uh, there we go. Cobble. Uh, let's get. The observers taken care of. There's going to be a solid block there and a solid block there. And we're going to go pointing up and pointing up. Pointing up. Pointing up. How you do? How you do? You're not facing the right way. Why are you not facing the right way? There we go. And you're going to be looking that way and that way. Looking that way and that way. You're going to be looking that way and that way. All right. And then looking up. Looking up. There we go. And that's all the observers I needed, so I can put those guys back in the box. And we got a dispenser going that way. Oh, a dispenser going that way. One going that way, one going that way. 
that way. I actually want to clear out a little bit of space over here. Just so that I got access when I need it. We got a block block. Glowstone. How you do? Composter. Block block. Block. Alright. Yeah, because we're gonna get glass on some of those other areas. Alright. How you do? so close. Alright, oh, water. Let's go ahead and get to the water and the bone meal before we get too much further. Because we're going to need water in that one. I didn't grab for the wrong one, did I? Okay, good. Good, good, good. So we got water in that one, and water in that one. So I don't need the bucket. I'll put that there for the moment, just to get it out of the way. I only need two more glowstone, so I can get those other two out of the way. I need... I need to eat. Wrangling villagers is hungry work. Uh, I need two blocks of bone, four blocks of bone, four stacks of blocks of bone. Uh, one, two. guys why why are you got why i wish i knew what these guys obsession was was standing in the shrubbery and hiding in the shrubbery i just i i don't know what they're pathing to that causes them to do that i put i put a bell up uh was it here yeah i put a bell right up under there in the hopes that that would get them to congregate you know somewhere closer to the center of the room but for whatever reason, they, they just, they like congregating up there or up in those shrubs there. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I do not get it one bit. Villagers make me stabby. The fact that I said that means that I probably hang out with Reyes too much. Alright, and they're not going to do anything because it is nighttime and they work banker's hours. That's fine. Alright, so we got those two dispensers fixed. Uh, fixed. Full. <laughs> and I mean, if I, need, if I need more in a hurry, I can always come through and just top off the bone meal. But we'll, we'll see how much... Uh, We'll see how far this goes before I start working on ways to, to pipe more bone meal into this. Because I am acutely aware of the fact that this might, this might not be, it, you know, it might be just fine. Alright, and I'm going to need glowstone and the composter and the, and glass. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and... And we'll go power, power. you 
you doing? How 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 you doing? probably going to be a jerk about this because it is 2 a.m. and you don't want to work at 2 a.m. I don't I, I get that <sighs> thank you <laughs> wrangling villagers is already fun enough without adding in uh, this kind of stuff come on man right there. Your dream job awaits. Come on. Hey, uh, come, on come on, man. Rise and shine. If you want to be a farmer, you, you got to get to it early. Early bird gets the worm. Well, yeah, the second mouse gets the cheese, too, but, you know. Come on, man. Out of the corner. Like seriously, do I need to? Do I need to block off these corners? Like I, I can do this. Oh no no no! You jerk! Get, get back in here! Ah oh, you! Why did? <laughs> Come on, man! Why 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 are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? I I don't. And the villager was never heard from again. There we go. I... Why? Why? Mind. That's why I didn't put those there. <laughs> All right, come on, man. Let, let's try this again. Let's try this again, shall we? Come on. Down the line. Oh, I didn't. I was missing a corner. That's why. Come on. You're the man in the box. Why, why do I get the feeling that quoting Alice in Chains is going to make me even older than, uh, or make me feel even older than I really want to? <laughs> that old job was not for you. You you did not want those barrels. You, you, your your new life as a farmer awaits. Come on, it's nine a.m. Chop chop, man. There you go. There you go. Oh. Oh, you love to see it. Alright, let me, let me let me go get you some wheat. No, not the beetroot, the wheat. Oh, the wheat and the beetroot. I'm definitely gonna have to check a little more frequently because the uh <laughs> I don't want an overabundance of seeds. All right. Well, uh, let me keep those there for the moment. Let's, uh, let's make room there. I wonder how much seeds I'm gonna I'm gonna actually accumulate. All right. One problem at a time. Come on. 
Into the box you go. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Look at that. Oh, oh. <laughs> I guess you would go after a new job if I gave you one. How about that? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. You're a real starter, Fred. Come on. No, no. Get in the, get in the hole. Hi. Come on. Your new life awaits you. Your dream job. Safe and protected. All the food you can harvest. It's glorious. Absolutely glorious. Actually, I think I'll put that there. And that will be where the hay bales go. I'll keep a half stack of wheat seeds in there, just kind of a, as a as a backup to get these guys started if something happens where where for whatever reason they're they're out of seeds or whatever. Look at that. I might do that just to just to keep it uh <laughs> keep it square. <laughs> All right. Uh let's get this side. all these guys. Hi, friend. Oh, that's right. You you probably want a stair to climb up on up there. How about that? Oh, look at that. Look at that. A nice and easy path to success. Yep. Oh, come on. It, it's still working hours, man. You, no, no. You, you can't quit now. Clock says so. It's only 15.30. Not quitting time yet. Come on. You, you got that lovely job. You got that lovely job in the corner office with a window. Right there. Right there, man. Every look, it's a dream job. You, you got your window. Safe. It's a job of great importance. What? What you staring up there for? Ain't nothing up there but bricks. There is where your job awaits you. How did you take damage? Why do you only have 14 hit points? How? How? 
right, I'll have to go. I'll have to go make some more splash potions. I wonder. I wonder if anybody else is damaged. I, don't, I didn't even notice that. If you look down on the bottom left-hand corner of my screen, where I got the mini HUD, where it says Entity Villager. Come on. There you go. What did it? Did I? Did I wound your pride or something? See, it says Entity Farmer. Hit point fourteen out of twenty. Um. Yeah, I wish I knew what that was about. Uh, let's grab the beetroot seeds. Oh yeah, I still gotta do the uh, do the item frame. Oh, I didn't put uh, I didn't put any bone meal in there. Oh no, I did put bone meal in there. Does I would have thought I would have thought the uh, is that below the? Uh, does the observer not see that? He should see that. Or is the beetroot farm just going to be the slowest of all the farms? Like, I mean, it's beetroot, so I'm not. I keep that mostly because a couple of the farmers up there have beetroot as a primary trade, and and I would just as soon keep that handy as a as a possible as a possible trade to get more emeralds. Uh, I don't know that I need an abundance of beetroot. I don't know that anybody needs an abundance of beetroot. But again, because I know I can get emeralds for it from uh, some of the farmers up up there, and I might have to I might have to pop open a window so, or and set change one of those windows to trap doors so I can trade with these guys and use that as another way of getting uh, getting emeralds and whatnot. Come on, man. It's right there. Oh, yeah. There we go. Come on. Keep going. You, you're almost there. Oh, oh, good. Good boy. Oh, come on. Just that half step over. There we go. Who's a good villager? Huh. Obviously, the signal traveled through. There we go. Interesting. Oh, why are you not taking the job? You know what? I'll, I'll come back and deal with you later. Let, let, let me clear up some of this mess and get, get everything squared away. Turn off the hitboxes. I don't need those. I wonder, did this guy take your station? I feel like he might have taken your station. Or is it, oh no no because it's because of the hour and you're you're not gonna work at this hour that's fine that's fine I'm not gonna be mad about it this time yeah I'm definitely gonna go grab some trap doors and make sure that I get a way of trading with these guys because that. That will help with the uh, that will help with the emerald situation, and any help with the emerald situation is good. I don't know why I'm making the cave floor neat. I, I can't help myself. Okay. All right. I'll come back to you guys in a moment, Tito. I need the one wheat. Wheats. Nope. No. That's the caps lock there. And the 
this is the last item frame. I'll do the same. Keep a row open for the beetroot seeds. I need the one to rename, and then those guys. Beetroots. Oh! Do, do pigs eat beetroots? I thought they only ate carrots. Oh! You can breed pigs with beetroots! Huh! Who knew? Well, beetroots just got a lot more useful. Let me rephrase that. Beetroots just got useful for a change. Huh. I, I wonder I wonder what else will eat them. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. And this little piggy went wee, wee, wee all the way home. I have no idea why I would need an anvil in here again, but just in case, I'll leave an anvil here. <laughs> All right, let's start cleaning up, lest somebody accuse me of creating massive amounts of chest monsters. Even though that is most definitely not a chest monster, if you've seen Scar's latest video. Oh, dude. Like... Sorry, that one facing the other way was was getting to me. I'll keep one there. Did I not keep a... Uh, I thought I kept a... bit of seed back, just in case. Wow, that... Look, I mean, this hasn't been running that long, and these guys are already at stacks and stacks of potatoes. Like, okay. Alright, so we got our emergency stack. We got our emergency stack. There's the rest. Not bad. That that's the one that that makes me really curious. Uh, I guess the the observer doesn't notice a change in the beet root after the first after the first growth stage? Question mark. Right. Oh no! Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, I had I had a stack of composters in there already. Uh, yikes. Oh, I'll put the button in there for now. Not like I won't need it for another project at some other point. And then everything else is going to go other places in here. So there, look, look, look at that. No, and with no chest monsters seen. No, I have no idea why I'm trying to make uh, the the cave interior neat. Don't don't ask. Don't ask questions. I can't give you the answer to. All right. <coughs> so our nope, our light box. Oh. I need to uh, I need to go put the hoe back, grab my sword. I might just leave the empty bucket in there. I'll probably forget that it's in there, but uh, I just need to leave the empty bucket in there and the glass can get put away. So we can get the backpack and we can get the portable workstation and the redstone and the glass. And I gotta rearrange that because yeah, there's stuff in there that I don't need in there all the time. Well, that's okay. That that's not bad. That that's actually a decent. Uh, that's a decent stream work. We get we got this fixed. Hopefully, um, I am a little concerned at some of those villagers having damage. 
So what I'll do is I'll check them when I go to, to cut a window for trading. And, and I'll, I'll try to get a stand up, uh, like maybe a little walkway up here. That'll let me trade with them. And as much as I'd like to worry about the XP, I'm not too worried about the XP because there's not a good place to let that go through. Uh, well, maybe maybe if I cut this out and put a uh, put a slab, like, oh no, because that's there. Never mind. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. Although, if I put his workstation on this side, and then put a slab in the middle, that would, that would give the XP a place to go. All right, I'll have to think about that. I'll have to think about that because, uh, again, this this design is mostly remembered from when Doc showed it in passing in a video. So, <laughs> you know, take that for what it is. And I don't think he ever intended to use these guys for trading to get XP, uh, especially given that most of these were glass instead of solid blocks. The only solid block was that guy on the other side of the hopper. Uh, so I doubt that that was the intention for any of this but uh yeah i'm i'm deeply curious about this one and i might yeah i might have to put some glass or something in there to to get a better better line of sight on um all right protein farms coming up soon <laughs> let's get the rest of this put away so the redstone is sorted for that. The villager stuff is most likely sorted. I'll have to double check when we get here, but uh, that is the desired storage. Uh, I've not, I've not tried to get another villager in here yet. So we'll see how that goes when I next need to grab another villager. Maybe I'll find out I messed something up. Um, although now that now that I got a good un, or good <laughs> air quotes around good now now that I get a better understanding of how those dispenser systems work, I know that our main villager breeder is having some weird issues with getting getting villagers dispensed. So I might have to go back through and see if I can figure that out. We also need to do the same deal where they go into... Uh, here. Might just be easier to show instead of try to explain. Uh, I, get, I never got to the potions. I thought I was going to be able to get to the potions. Uh, the last piece for the potion rooms uh, is a, a universal potion brewing machine where I just pop buttons for the ingredients I want and there it goes. Uh, that'll have to happen another time. But yeah, so these guys up here, one of the problems we're running into is there. there's way too many villagers here. So we need them to hit the cramming damage. So they need to come down into a one by one by two tall block. Um, and if we get the dispenser down where that last brick is and then a powered rail a powered rail and we start getting the rail to come up under the diagonal of this glass we should then be able to pull it up and have it so it starts coming up here and then we can run it down to wherever we run it down um, but that's, uh, that, that's a problem for another day Still, not bad. Actually got actually got a fair amount done. I will need to come back to this and start working on the walls. The the abstract asymmetry is growing on me. I mean there's a part of me that, that would like to do the same design in each corner. Just because that that's the way I am, but uh, <laughs> uh the, this this is good. This is good. Uh, I know this wainscoting is going to be the way it is. I just, I don't know what to do for the rest of the wall. 
and I gotta look up. I I gotta try to find some ideas for how to do a dining table. I know the kinds of chairs I want to set on either side. Um, uh, and then I need to make a bar. And then once I put together the door here, uh, I think what we can do is put a put a trap door just under here. That'll keep the villagers from going in between the two rooms, unless we want the villagers to go in between the two rooms. But if I put a carpet and a one-wide door that's only too tall, that will keep the villagers from leaving the kitchen and wandering into the dining room, and vice versa. So that that'll be that'll be something for another day. I've got some other redstone that I definitely want to get doing with the quickness. One of which being the piglin trading, uh, the piglin bartering hall. Uh, that might be a Tuesday project because I need to I need to double check the video and start collecting some resources. But before I forget, let me let me show you what we got after the potion brewing because I know I did some upgrades to it after that. Um, so fountains coming along. We're starting to get a little bit of it. Uh, the duck is kind of fun. So I swapped out the palette for the wall because I I there wasn't enough room for the variety to look good. So it's nothing but bone blocks going up in a nice straight surface. Uh, I had to put these stations out here for these guys because for whatever reason, they wouldn't recognize those stations as valid, even if the trapdoor wasn't there, uh, which I don't, I don't understand. I even moved the chest so it wasn't blocking their way. Like I had the double chest over here off to the side so they could walk up to it and, and they weren't. Villagers don't seem to recognize a station that is one up. They only seem to recognize it if it's on the floor. Now, I don't know if that's a quirk or something that is known or or what the deal is with that. Because uh, I do have trouble keeping up with villagers and all that. So, we got this room pretty much all set up and decorated. I swapped that glass out for white once I moved that to bone walls. Um, I put those upside down stairs there because these villagers, for whatever reason, loved jumping on top of the chest and standing in the corner. And the whole point of having these guys around is, is to get a little more motion and life in the castle, <laughs> in, in this area. It, having them stand in the corner was not, not helping. That's also why I put the glow, the, uh, the end rod on top of each station because without them they would all jump on top of one of these and just hang out there in the corner together i i don't i don't know uh, of course since these guys have been out like this i've started using them as finishing stations uh so i oh. all right i'm gonna have to use the one upstairs because i don't have any gunpowder down here with me i've also got this with the uh, block swapper to get the elevator up because I've never done that before and I really wanted to give that a shot. Um, this is... Uh, so I've got the, the three that we worked on down here. I got the water breathing and the regen potions over here, although you'll notice the distinct lack of gas tears. Um, that, that's going to be something that has to change too. Uh, there are gas farms that use wither roses. I don't I don't know. I don't want to do that or not. Um, mostly because I, I, I don't want to. You don't want to know how many wither roses it takes to make that happen. I, I almost wonder if there isn't a gas farm that could work with powdered snow. Um, and, and so there, there's a spawnable surface where you can get them to freeze to death. Um, that that might be worth looking into and trying to figure it out if I can. Uh, I still need to put some upside down stairs. Um, matter of fact, I got this here. Where's my deep slate box? Mostly because I, I prefer the design the the way I have it with the with the two trapdoors, but I want the the symmetry there. 
so that way those look like the ones downstairs do. And we got the recessed bu uh, barrel there for empty water bottles. I'll need to stock all of these up with more empty water bottles um, at some point. Uh, yeah, there we go. We got a bunch of stuff in there. Matter of fact, ooh, let's drop those in there. Uh, I'll have to find a home for a bunch of that stuff, too, because I'm pretty sure some of that is stuff I could have used on this project here. Um, are those done? Good. All right. I'll, uh, I'll, go, I'll go check on the villagers off camera and get that squared away. What I will do here is switch on over to the credits, say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is definitely coffee craft all the time. Fridays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is a grab bag, depending on what's going on. So, like, today it was Coffee Craft. I do want to get Games Revisited going, um, and a few, and I got a few other projects in mind as well. So, Friday is going to be a little bit of a grab bag until I can get back on schedule with that. Let's see, who is available for a raid? Ooh. We got Grimly and Beast Lord J. They are both worth a follow if you haven't already. We're gonna go ahead and raid Beast Lord. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kick it to the title, stick around for the raid, and I will see you next time. Stay for the raid.